heard tonight, an out-of-state doctor says he's sorry for falsely blaming Black Lives Matter for an incident his daughter had with squeegee kids this weekend in the city. And WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler on that now-deleted viral tweet and what the body-worn camera video reveals. Paul. Rick and Vic, the incident happened here on President and Lombard early Sunday afternoon. This is the tweet from Dr. Andrea Natali, a physician in Texas who said his daughter and her boyfriend were attacked by Black Lives Matter activists Sunday and police refused to act. The tweet was shared by tens of thousands. I wish we had seen it sooner and could have shut that down more quickly. Watchdog Caitlin Goldblatt, founder of the Twitter account Scan the Police, heard the incident on the scanner. A very, really over it sounding dispatcher <laughs> called in. They coded it an armed person. What it is, it's a squeegee, the Lombard president. Body worn camera video syncs the incident up with an altercation with squeegee kids, not Black Lives Matter activists. They just gang up on you and they get very aggressive even if you politely say, please don't wash yeah, and they my do, car. They do. The woman claims she declined the wash and the kids broke her mirror and threw rocks at her car. We don't know what led to the boyfriend getting out of the car, but he told police he confronted the kids and told them he had a knife. Three guys surrounded me, okay, and I said, stop. I, I will defend myself. I do have a knife on me. Um, and the other guy pulled out his knife and was like, I got a knife too. Scanner traffic indicated the two told police the kids were armed, but never mentioned he had a knife too. For decades, Baltimore has had challenges with complaints about squeegee kids. We handle this all the time. The officer gave the two a complaint number for a broken mirror and later admitted his hands are tied. To be honest, the city doesn't want us to, to engage. The doctor, meanwhile, deleted his Twitter account after activists and independent journalists poked holes in his story. In a statement through his hospital, he apologized, saying in part he was worried about his daughter and jumped to a conclusion based on the information he had at the time. He said, I regret that my words created hurt and pain. It was not my intention. I was shocked that it had spread so widely, and I think that really speaks to, again, the way that Baltimore is so quickly demonized. Yeah, okay. Back live now, Baltimore City Police, meanwhile, recently announced plans to encrypt their police scanner transmissions. And Goldblatt points to this incident and many others as the reason the public should remain able to listen to the police scanner. Reporting live on President Street tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.